السلام علیکم مائی نیم سفیان احمد ہاشمی ٹوڈے دا ٹاپک آف مائی ڈسکشن از منزلائزیشن آف دا ہارٹ ٹیشو سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ ود دا منزلائزیشن بیسیکلی منزلائزیشن از دیٹ پروسیس ان وچ منرل سالٹس ار ڈپازٹڈ اراؤنڈ دا ارگینک میٹرکس سو دیٹ اٹ ول بیکم دا کیلسیفائڈ اسٹرکچر ٹیشو فلوئڈ از آلویز سچوریٹڈ ود دا کیلشیم ان فاسفیٹ آئن سو دیٹ کیلشیم فاسفیٹ اسپونٹینیس پریسیپیٹیشن ڈز ناٹ ٹیک پلیس کیسٹ فارمیشن از انہیبیٹڈ بائی دا انہیبیٹری میکرو مالیکیول Later structure is formed by the unstable initial line crystal. Expenditure of energy is required for the formation of crystal lines and the energy barrier must be overcome for the crystallization. Organic matrix Organic matrix is basically composed of collagenous and non-collagenous protein. Collagenous protein consists of type 1 collagen that accommodates as holes and fibrillate pores. Non-collagenous consists of proteoglycan phospholipid phosphoprotein. Non-collagenous protein play an important role in mineralization of enamel also in other heart tissues flow sheet diagram alkaline phosphatases pyrophosphatases calcium ATPase metalloproteinase and linic phospholipids binds calcium and phosphate ions which will form calcium and organic phosphate phospholipid complex this will initiate the mineralization and crystal grow rapidly and rupture from the vesicles finally the crystal vesicles will fuse with adjacent cluster from mineralized matrix Here the diagram shows the collagenous fiber and hydroxy apatite containing calcium and phosphate. Theories of the mineralization There are three important theories regarding the mineralization. Alkaline phosphatase theory, nucleation theory, matrix vesicle theory. Alkaline phosphatase theory Alkaline phosphatase is basically an enzyme that participates in the calcification process. It remains or residue in the matrix vesicle. It hydrolyzes the organic phosphate and increases the local inorganic phosphate concentration. It will provide potassium ions for the formation of hydroxy apatite crystals. Nucleation theory. According to nucleation theory, nucleus is formed in relation to the collagen that is helpful in aggregating the calcium and the phosphate ions. Hydroxy apatite crystals grow spontaneously. Nucleation sites and aging. Mitochondria is the early storage site of the calcium and phosphate ions in the form of amorphous CPO4. This crystal is, crystal is made available extracellularly which causes the growth of the crystal. They are formed extracellularly in association with matrix vesicles. Types of the nucleation Homogeneous nucleation Increase in the concentration of inorganic permits sufficient number of ions, clusters and crystallites to form. Heterogeneous nucleation Presence of the nucleating substance allows the crystal formation to occur without local increase in ionic concentration. Matrix vesicle theory Extracellular matrix is required for mineralization. Small vesicles are 25 to 250 nanometer in diameter, presently in a matrix where calcification is to be occurred. They are rich in a phospholipid, mainly phosphatidylserine, which is basically a lipid with rich affinity for the calcium. These vesicles also form calcium channel, thus incorporating the ions in matrix vesicles. Enamel mineralization Enamel does not contain collagen and matrix vesicle. Enamel mineralization is achieved by the crystal growth from already mineralized dentin. Enamel proteins are of two types, 90% amylogens that help to maintain space between the crystal. 10% non-amylogens that help in growth and nucleation of the tissues. Crystal growth The nostril picture clearly shows the 1 micrometer size hydroxyapatite crystal. This is the major component of tooth enamel in the bone mineral. A relative way from the appetite in which most of the OH group are absent, containing many carbonate and acid phosphate substitution is a large component of the bone material. Initial growth of appetite is rapid, then it will slow down. It will occur because of the following factor. non polygenous protein can bind selectively to different surfaces of crystal, preventing further growth and finalizer size, accumulating accumulation of an inorganic pyrophosphoric acid at crystal surface also block further growth. Finally, we will talk about the transport of mineralized to the mineralization size. It is the most important step. The transport is basically the intercellular transport. Tissue fluid is super saturated in these ions, so fluid simply needs to percolate between the cells to reach organic matrix. Mainly occur between the osteoblast and odontoblast. Majority of the calcium entry occur through the transcellular route. Sequestration of the calcium to Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, and endoplasmic reticulum is a safety device to control calcium concentration of the cytosome. Thank you.